This week's hometown hero is positively Wisconsin. Dana Grutzmacher spent 22 months in Korea when he was drafted at just 19 years old. A platoon leader, he was responsible for making sure the Chinese didn't infiltrate the other men in his company along the DMZ. Local 5's Nate Stewart talked with a Kiwani native about his service and life after the military. You have an obligation to protect your country and... Uh, it's a good idea if you can do something to join the service and protect the country. And Dana Gritzmacher did exactly that when he was drafted in the Army back in 1949. The first thing the sergeant said when I got into basic training, he says, why we're here is to kill the enemy. He'd eventually be sent overseas to Korea with the 45th Infantry Division, known as the Thunderbirds. They were trying to get rid of the Chinese. See, there were uh, so many that they tried to get the numbers down so that we could take over. That was the main purpose. Dana was one of 10 men in the 4th platoon. We were uh, supposed to go to the, higher, to the higher ground because then we were on top of our other three platoons and we could shoot over them. And his weapon had some serious power. Machine gun, 50 caliber. That was my weapon plus a 45. That was all I had. We were supposed to have artillery coverage for the first three platoons. Dana would later find himself caught in a battle. The battle that I did, it was usually in the dark and he never knew what was going on. That was the problem. And things later took a turn for the worse after two hours of fighting. I think we had 19, 19 dead and uh, 40 wounded. There were, there was, the, the first three platoons were wiped out. Dana would later earn the Silver Star for his involvement. Those three platoons, they are the ones that deserved it because they lost their lives, they were wounded. But his company was eventually split up. I was shipped to another place further away, so I lost track of them. But he never lost track of his service to the country. He was commander of the American Legion Post 538 for six years. I'm a lifetime member and I'm a lifetime member of the VFW Kiwani Post. The 88-year-old still goes to all the meetings once a month and shows no signs of slowing down. That's I feel great. Like you feel great, huh? <laughs> good, good stuff.